what's up guys for today's video we're taking a look at the all new 2023 chevrolet silverado zr2 then i'll show you many of the features on this monster silverado's interior exterior and we'll take a look at this truck's five years cost to own at the end of the video so sit back relax and enjoy So first, let's start with pricing. So the Silverado comes with two available drivetrain you can choose from. The two-wheel drive that starts at 42000 and the four-wheel drive that starts at 45395 And it comes with nine available trims you can choose from. The base model work truck that starts at 42000 and it goes all the way up to 70195 for my tester, the ZR2 trim. And the engine on this monster is a 6.2 liter V8 that makes 420 horsepower at 5600 RPMs and 460 pound-feet of torque at 4100 RPMs. That's connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This is the power to all four wheels and it can tow up to 9800 pounds. And as for fuel economy, this engine makes 14 miles per gallon city, 17 miles per gallon highway with a 24 gallon fuel tank capacity. So my tester is a ZR2 trim which comes standard with the 6.2 liter V8. This aggressive run and design with the gloss black grille and the new high approach steel front bumper with the red tow hooks. Those gloss black 18 inch wheels wrapped in 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler tires and many more. And my tester is finished in glacier blue metallic exterior color which is a $395 option and has the two tone jet black and gray stone leather interior and has a starter sticker price of $68,400. My tester has plenty of options like the technology package, the off-road high clearance steps, and the power sunroof, which made my tester has a window sticker of $74,785 after options, shipping, and handling. So on the driver door, you have the window control, both driver and passenger side windows fully automatic. Right above it, you have the power folding mirrors. You have the rear window lock, mirror controls. You have the chrome door handle with lock and unlock and two stage memory seat. You also have the two tone leather on the door and you have the carbon fiber pattern. Door grab handle, Bose premium speaker system, two bottle holders and a small storage. And on the left hand side stereo, you have your heads up display controls, electronic parking brake, the four-wheel drive controls with your mode selector, the automatic light controls with your brightness, bed lights, and the fog lights. And on the steering wheel, you have the four-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with the blacked-out Chevrolet emblem. On the left-hand side, you have the cruise control with the heated steering wheel and the forward collision warning. On the right-hand side, you have your controls for the instrument cluster screen along with your voice command. You also have the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. And you have the turning signal stock with the windshield wiper controls. And on the instrument cluster screen, on the left-hand side, you have the speed. And in the middle, you have compass. And on the right-hand side, you have the tachometer with the mode selector. And in the middle, you have your speed, drive summary, trip one, two, timer, tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake pad life, air filter life, blank page. And you can also customize which ones to see or hide. You also have your audio, your navigation, your phone controls and your settings. You have the display layout. You have four themes you can choose from. You can also customize the left side, the right side, the lower gauge and the information page options along with the units. And coming along the center, you have the upgraded 12 inch screen. You have the home button, volume control, lane keep assist, parking sensor, auto stop, tailgate release, hazards, traction. You have the rear axle lock and all the axles lock. And right underneath you have engine start, trailer brake control, dual zone climate controls with heated and vented seats. You also have a USB and a USB-C. You have a lot of storage down here, two cup holders, the 10-speed automatic transmission, wireless charging pad, another storage for your phone. You have a small divider in the middle with a huge center storage with a regular house outlet, a USB-C and a USB. And on the screen, you have your audio, you have AM, FM, Sears XM, Bluetooth, USB podcast, and Google News. You also have the Google Maps. You have your phone controls. 
your camera system. You have a front camera and rear. You have the front bumper cameras. You have cameras on all four wheels. The tow camera. And lastly, you have the bed camera. You have Google Assistant's Play Store, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You have the trailering page, your climate control. You can control it from the screen or from the buttons below. You also have the fully customizable settings with valet mode and teen driver alert. You have Wi-Fi hotspot, My Chevrolet, podcast, and Google News. And on the second half of the screen, you have your audio sources. You have Google Maps, the trailer view, and the analog clock. Also comes standard on the ZR2 as the backup camera mirror, which is fully customizable. You can customize the brightness. You can zoom in or out. You can tilt it up or down, or you can have it as a regular mirror. And on the window sticker, the standard vehicle price is 68400 They added the technology package, off-road high clearance steps, power sunroof, glacier blue metallic, and the uh, power lift gate, which made this truck has a window sticker of 74785 Here's the final assembly, five-star safety ratings, and fuel economy. And as you can see on this graph, the Silverado's five years cost to own at a price of $65,163 loss. The depreciation on this truck in five years is $17,300 with the biggest hit in the second year of purchase. Fees and taxes paid is around $6,400 depends on the state you buy it in. Fuel paid in five years will cost around $19,000 depends on the way you drive it. Insurance will cost around $8,100 and interest comes at around $7,000. Maintenance was the most important factor will cost around $4,300. And lastly, repairs will cost around 1700 So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing future videos.